Good evening, Kumbhawa. This is Kanami from Padra Yoga. And today I'm going to show you four yoga poses that you can do just before going to bed to guarantee that you're going to have an awesome restful sleep. So we'll get started right away. If you have a bolster and a block, they're great props to have. If you don't have them, uh, just a whole bunch of pillows <laughs> will do as well. But if you have those, uh, please use them. So we're going to start in frog pose. So grab your yoga mat, fold it in half, fold the corners in, and then prop yourself somewhere where you can travel forward after to come out of the pose. So you're going to put your knees in the little paddle bits here. And if you have any knee issues or it does not feel comfortable to have your feet flexed like this, you can come into a tadpole. So your toes touching like this, and then you can let your knees come out and you can still get a great stretch in your inner groin area. If it feels okay, flex your feet, have your ankles resting on the ground, and then you want to have your shins parallel with the mat. Now if you have a bolster or pillow, it's nice to put underneath your chest. And the block is really nice to rest your forehead on. Now for this pose, if you want to go deeper into it, all you need to do is just slide your knees apart a little bit more, and then also draw your hips back towards your heels. Now if this pose gets too intense at any time, it can really sneak up on you and get quite hot. Uh, you, all you have to do is shift your hips forward, and that takes away from the pose. So, we're going to hold it here for a little bit. You can always prop yourself up as well. This is a great way to just release anything going on in your lower back. You might feel it mostly in your groin to start, uh, but it's really going to start releasing things just around here in your body so you can rest easier. So deep breaths here, really take this, or this pose as an opportunity to breathe deeply. So deep breaths in the nose and out. Really focusing on filling up and also creating space in your body with your inhales. Uplifting the feeling and then use your exhales to ground down and move into that new space. And we'll hold it for five more breaths here. Please feel free to hold this for as long as you like. So if you have lots of time, Holding frog for five minutes, six minutes, eight minutes is fantastic yin pose, uh, just getting into the connective tissue. So if you have the time to do that, please feel free to hold this for eight minutes. And to come out of it, just start shifting your hips forward little by little. The longer you've been in this pose, the uh, more um, intense it's going to be to come out of it. So make sure you really take your time. You can always pause if it's getting too much. And then eventually you're going to lie all the way up your belly, straighten out your legs behind you, and just let your hips move from side to side, allow your body to release from that. And then when you feel ready to move again, place your pillows off to the side. Unfold the mat. And we're going to go against the wall for the next couple poses. Um, so this can also be, if you're in your bed, you can, uh, and your bed's against the wall, you can do these poses in your bed, which is a great way to just kind of roll over afterwards and go to sleep. So lie on your back, close to the wall, and we're going to do thread the needle. So have your sit bones far enough away from the wall where you can sit like, or lie like so with your knees bent. And then you're going to bring your right foot on top of the left knee. You can start with the leg pretty straight and then bring the sit bones a bit closer, bend the knee a bit more. Keep this foot flexed and then press this knee away from your body. And you can really control how deep you want this pose to be. So if you want it a bit more mellow, you can straighten the leg out. If you really want to get deep into your hips, you can bring the heel closer to the ground, the hips closer to the wall, the knee closer to the wall. And for, for now, we'll hold it for three breaths. But once again, if you have the time to do so, feel free to hold this for you know, three or four minutes on each side, making it a yin pose. Mm -hmm. 
Then we'll do the other side, so straighten out the left leg so you can straighten the right leg as well. And then we'll bend the left knee, place the left ankle on top of the right knee, bend the right knee. And then same thing, if you want to keep a bit more mellow, you can keep the leg a bit more straight. If you really want to get into those hips, you can bring the foot all the way down. Keep this foot flexed, keep your left foot flexed, and direct your left knee towards the wall. Ooh, you can really feel that. So we'll take three breaths here.